Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you watched my last live stream with Ariel because the topic of this live stream was actually does HDR affect performance, affect FPS in games and I was very curious about this and I did actually back then some testing on the PC and I actually compared Ratchet and Clank, the game what you can see here right now, yeah, with HDR and SDR in regards of performance, in regards of frames per second. And the result for this test back then was actually that I had the feeling or according to my measurements or recordings, yes, there is a slightly advantage from SDR over HDR. So again, I was curious about this and I decided actually to do a proper video and I decided also to have actually a look on the console because yeah, I like to focus actually more on the console version or console games at this very moment because it's actually more important on the console that we're not losing FPS when we're enabling HDR because most of the games on the console there are yeah, 60 FPS games and most of them are not actually supporting VRR. So it is very important that we have a stable 60F experience on the console. And yeah, that's why I tested actually five games, two Xbox games and three PlayStation, three PlayStation 5 games. And the result is actually very interesting. Okay, so before I show you now the results of my testing, I like to explain to you how I tested actually FPS on the console and I decided actually to make it very simple, but probably or well, for sure not 100% accurate. So I get this, okay? So all what I have done is actually, I played a game and I recorded my TV and I using the yeah, gaming dashboard on my LG G2 to display actually the frames per seconds. And yes, I get this. This is not 100% accurate, but even I would record frames like Digital Foundry is doing it, it would also not be very accurate to have a proper side-by-side -side comparison because every time when you play a game, you're not exactly doing the same as before with the other comparison, okay? I hope you, you understand what I'm talking about. I hope it makes sense. So I was, or I was thinking actually, if there would be a significant difference between HDR performance and SDR performance in, regarding, in regards of FPS, the LG G2 dashboard is more than enough to display that, okay? That's my, that's my thinking, okay? So again, I like to make sure that you understand that this is not a 100% accurate test, but in my opinion, more than enough to show if there is a difference between HDR and SDR in regards of FPS. So let's start with the first game what I tested on the Xbox, A Blake Tail, and I recorded actually a sequence where, yeah, there is not much to do from a player perspective at this very moment. That's why I thought this is actually really great because we're talking about in-game graphic, we're talking about um, real-time graphic at the moment. And all what I have to do is actually let's play this sequence and let's record and see what is happening. And with at this very moment, I have actually the feeling, yes, there is a slightly disadvantage for HDR or a very minor advantage for SDR. But again, we need to be very careful because this is just the LG G2 gaming dashboard. It's not 100% accurate, okay? And even when we're looking now at this comparison right now where I'm just um, hiding in the grass actually and nothing or not much is going on on the screen, you can see there is a, yeah, again, maybe a slightly disadvantage for HDR and a very minor advantage for SDR. So that's the first game of Blake Tail. And I would say, yes, HDR is losing very minor or very, very, a little bit compared to SDR. So the next game what I tested was Starfield on the Xbox. And I tested obviously one time with HDR enabled and then the other time with SDR enabled. But this game is actually very hard to compare because it's a very dynamic game. Always, yeah, there's something happening always in the background and there is something, it's always different, you know, when you load a game, when you compare, 
even if you stand on the exact same point, it's not the exact same situation. Okay, so a very dynamic game, and that's why it's very hard to see actually if there is a, a significant difference. Actually, I had the feeling. I had the feeling that HDR is actually dropping more often the frames per seconds yeah, compared to SDR. But this is again very hard to say because yeah, most of the time there are new or uh, different characters on the screen and maybe even um, a different daytime. Even I used exactly the same load actually or the same save game. Um, it's very hard to say if there is a difference between HDR and SDR. So in regards of Starfield, I would actually say no, no disadvantage for HDR according to my testing. And now let's talk about PlayStation 5 games. And I tested Horizon Forbidden West, Spider-Man 2 and The Last of Us 2. And I like to start with Horizon Forbidden West, the game what you can see here right now. And when we or when I compared the intro sequence, it's Again, a little bit hard to tell or to say, yes, HDR has a disadvantage or SDR is slightly faster. It's very hard to say. So when we're comparing this one here right now, where I, yeah, where nothing or not much is happening on the screen, it doesn't look like that we have a disadvantage when we're using HDR, at least not at this very moment, not in this game. But you tell me otherwise. So just compare this and let me know in the comment, comment section, what do you think? The next game what we have is Spider-Man 2 and I also had the impression that there is not much of a difference between HDR and SDR in regards of performance. But again, it's very hard to actually show this because it's also a very dynamic game. It's um, while you're playing the game, actually there's, it's never the same. You know, when you load a save game, it's never the same because you have different crowd, you have a different maybe um, um, daytime and stuff like that. You know, it's a little bit hard to compare. But when we looking at this picture at the moment, this is after the intro sequence, which should be exactly the same between HDR and SDR. I can actually see any difference in regards of HDR and SDR performance in regards of FPS. Okay, so it does look to me that HDR has no significant, significant, I'm sorry for that, significant impact in regards of performance in Spider-Man 2. And last but not least, but also the best for the end, The Last of Us 2. And when we're looking at this comparison right now, the start screen, what can you actually notice? Yes, there's a big difference. I would say actually a big difference or the biggest difference what I have seen so far between HDR and SDR. And yeah, that's just the start screen, which is probably not bothering us too much. So what about the actual game? And here it's a completely different story because suddenly it doesn't look like we have actually a disadvantage when we're using HDR. But again, the fact that I'm playing the game and the fact that I can't yeah, play the game exactly the same as yeah, with the other comparison, it makes it very hard to say, yes, there is a difference in regards of HDR or there is an advantage when you use SDR.
So what is now my yeah, summary actually in regards of this video and it's very hard because I would actually need to do really proper testing and with really proper testing I'm really talking about recording FPS from the source like uh, Digital Foundry is doing and comparing maybe frame by frame but to be very honest that's maybe a little bit too much because if we can't see a significant difference um, between HDR and SDR and we're just talking about let's say maximum 5 FPS on a loading screen or a start screen. To be very honest, it's not worth to mention in my opinion. So what I would probably like to do if this topic actually blows up and there's more um, request in regards of this topic or testing, I would probably um, test games which are having issues, let's say on the Xbox or PlayStation 5, um, to actually keep 60 FPS all the time because then um, we would see probably a better result or more stuttering, let's say, if there is a performance loss when you use HDR, we would, we, we would actually see probably more stuttering on the HDR with HDR enabled than with SDR enabled, okay? So let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more of this topic in terms of testing and stuff like that. And also, please put in the comment section what games you think I should test because Again, I would like to have uh, games like, and I, um, I may, may be wrong on that, but I think Ronin, Ronin on the uh, PlayStation 5 was actually having issues with 60 FPS and also Resident Evil 4 on the Xbox and also PlayStation 5. But put in yeah, more games in the comment section um, where we have issues where the game suddenly sometimes drops, uh, let's say to 58, 57, 55 FPS, because again, with yeah, enabling SDR at this very moment and test the game again, maybe we have suddenly a 60 FPS experience. So this is very interesting, okay? Again, put in the comment section what you think about this um, test, what do, you, what do you think about this video? And again, I know it's not 100% accurate to use the LG G2 dashboard, but I think it's a, it's a, we can get an idea if there is a significant difference between HDR and SDR and my, my answer would be no, not that I can see it, okay? Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.